Hello Group A. Today's reading dealt with decentralization. I will discuss some aspects of decentralized before talking about my own organizational experience with the topic. Organizational decentralization is the process by which a company or nonprofit group splits up decision making, taking some power away from the core executive group and giving it to the department heads, middle managers, or other employees. Through this separation of its responsibilities, the immense amount of work an organization is tasked with can easily be dispersed among many different individuals, making the task easy to manage and quick to solve. Organizations decentralize because it is much faster and easier to, di to distribute decision-making and management capabilities among several different people rather than have it rest with one sole individual or group of centralized executives. This becomes especially salient as a, as a company grows and expands physically and geographically. For example, the C-suite of McDonald's does not have the time to make decisions on how individuals, franchise are con how individuals' franchises are constructed, operated, and deal with their employees and personnel. There are simply too many locations, and the sheer amount of information and decisions required to be made would quickly become overwhelming. Rather, each individual store has shift managers, store managers, and regional managers. These people make it easy, easy for decisions to be made quickly, leaving the executives of the company with more time to focus on higher level holistic tasks. Decentralized subunits can also get to know clients and vendors better, providing specialized services and goods based on the region of demographics. And decentralized allows employees to have greater autonomy over the environment leading to increased participation and morale. Organizations accomplish decentralized by creating a hierarch hierarchical power structure within the company. Different departments are created to manage different types of tasks and responsibilities. And within each department, a power structure is set up where different people manage certain aspects of the department's functions. In the end, a branch power network is created where each individual has a certain task and reports up through the chain of command. At the, bottom of the, at, a, at the bottom of the decentralized organizational framework are the, organi are the organization's frontline workers. As one moves up through the chain of command, the tasks become more broad in scope and more holistic in their scope. At the top of the executives who have the, who have the broadest job duties and are tasked in dealing with the big picture aspects of the company. The organization I am currently involved with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers operates on a decentralized basis. Although the organization is relatively small, so it is not as decentralized as many other major companies. As a player, I am one of the, I am one of the frontline workers with very little organizational responsibilities other than playing my best. I have my own position coach who manages a certain sub, subset of the roster. The several position coaches report to the offensive and defensive coordinator. These coordinators report to the head coach who oversee the entire day-to-day -day operations of the entire team. The head coach then reports, the reports to the general managers who deals with all of, the, all of the front office staff. Besides from day-to-day -day football, the Buccaneers also have departments for scouting, stadium issues, travel, advertising, marketing, and community, and community outreach. Ultimately, each of the departments reports to the owner who not only must deal with the day-to-day -day operations, but long-term strategy, sponsorship, stadium concerns, and many other factors.